Hello, my name is Natasha. I work at the York County Libraries. Welcome to my virtual art painting one-on-one -on -one video for May. Today, we're going to paint flowers before bloom. If you would like to join me to paint flowers before bloom, please continue with the video. Welcome back. This is Natasha with my virtual art painting one-on-one -on -one video for May, Flowers Before Bloom. Before we begin to paint, I would like to show you the materials. Let's begin with what we're going to use to paint with today. We're going to need a printout, a eight by 11 printout of Flowers Before Bloom. You're going to need foam board. You'll need a green paint pen. You'll need a three by four pouncer brush or paint brush is fine too. You'll need an ink pen. You'll need an eight and a half by 11 transfer paper. You need some tape and you'll need the colors purple these are up to you, but I chose the colors purple, turquoise, yellow, green, red, and blue, and also white. And once you get your materials, we will begin. Hello everyone, welcome back to my virtual art painting one-on-one -on -one video from May, painting flowers before bloom. What I have done, is I went ahead and painted the yellow on the onto the foam board. So if you haven't done this step, which I know I didn't show it, you're welcome to go ahead and pause the video and to, so you can do this step now. But what I'm gonna do now that I have painted my yellow onto the foam board, I'm going to take my transfer paper and place it, place the black side onto the yellow foam board and the gray side is going to face up like that. And then I'm gonna, then I will grab my printout of flowers before bloom and place that on top of the transfer paper. Next, I'm going to grab some tape. I'm going to, I will put two pieces on two to uh, secure the transfer paper and the printout. So I put one piece at the top and secure it around the foam board. And then I'll place another piece of tape on the side to secure it there. So it won't move while I trace. And once again, if you feel comfortable enough to draw the flowers before bloom onto the foam board, then you're welcome to skip this step. I'm not, uh, the perfect drawer so that's why I use this instead. Now that it is secure you want to begin to trace and I won't show you all of it I'll just show you how it's basically done. Now that it's all secure we're going to trace one of the flower blooms just like this using our pen, our ink pen and we're just going to trace the outline of the flower onto, so it's onto the foam board. Okay, now that I've traced one bloom, I'm going to continue this. And I'll show you how it looks uh, on the other side. All right. 
All right, welcome back. This is Natasha to my virtual art painting 101 video for May, painting flowers before bloom. Uh, now we have transferred the printout of the flowers before bloom onto the foam board. And this is the result of that. And to get the look that I made here with my in the, my unique flowers before bloom i use this pouncer brush um the three by four inch and i just what i'm going to show you is i'll take two colors and paint at one time using the pouncer brush so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the white and maybe the blue and I'm going to put it onto the pouncer brush at one time. So, and I'll show you so you can see how it's done. And then I'm again to paint to make that look. All right, so if you're ready to begin, we'll grab our white paint. And we won't need a lot, just, just a little. Just a little bit of white paint to start off with. And then I'm going to take some blue and use it on the other side. And I'll show you. And this is how it looks when you have two paints, uh, acrylic paints on, this, on one brush. But I'm going to turn it this way because I want the light to come from the left side. So I want the white to be on the left side and the blue paint to be on the right side. So now all I'm going to do is begin to blend the two paints to make this look that I have here. Not completely blend, but just blend it a little. Okay. And you just keep going with it and just keep pouncing and you'll get the desired look that you're looking for. And generally you have to go back and do it several times if it's not the look that you're looking for. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some more white. I'm going to mix that in with the blue. And it's not going to look real defined or detailed with this with using the pouncer brush it's not going to look that way um i would recommend if you are looking for that detailed look to probably uh maybe use the paint brush okay that's one that i have done for you and i'm going to continue doing this um off camera and when I come back, I'll show you the finished results. Okay. All right. Welcome back, everyone. This is how the finished Flowers Before Bloom has turned out. Um, you can always um, tweak it and make it, of course, make it your own. Because, again, uh, I use a pouncer brush, but it, it really depends on what type of uh, brush you use for it to turn out a different way um, so now that I've done that I'm going to show you briefly how I use 
the paint pen to create the stems in the flowers. So just watch as I do this and I'll show you how it looks after it's all finished. All right. All I did was I didn't really focus on too much on how perfect it was or how perfect it should be. I just kind of went in the lines and made the lines look like that. Kind of scribble inside it. And then this comes a little messy on this as at, at this point. I took my finger and kind of smudged it. Uh, I'm not too much of a fan of the perf being kind of perfect with my paintings right now. So that's how that turned out like that. So I've continued doing this and I'll show you how the finished painting is on the other side. Okay. All right, everyone, welcome back to my virtual art painting one-on-one -on -one video for May, painting flowers before bloom. This is how it turned out. I'm very satisfied with it and I hope you are too satisfied with yours. Um, if you like these videos, please uh, like, comment, or subscribe to the York County website. And I will have another video in June for you to watch then. Again, thank you for watching. Goodbye.